lovely filly. She's by High Top. Had a bell song. It was by Tudor Melody. And this is the first time she's uh, tackled a distance beyond six furlongs. So as well as having to compete in a race of this caliber, she's uh, first time up without the benefit of a run. She's also got to prove her stamina. Well, she should get the trip okay. Although she's out of a Tudor Melody mare, who was very fast. She's by High Top. On the house, eight to one from seven to one. And uh, there she is. She looks pretty fit to me. I think uh, her trainer, Michael Stout, has done a really great job to get her into this condition on her first start. Rosa Bontreau, you've seen, John. I mean, Greece, number one. There's the filly of uh, Robert Sangsters. Woodstream, Dancing Rocks, 20 to 1 from 16 to 1. This is a rather unusual filly. She's trained in France by Francois Boutin. She uh, was a six times winner in Italy last year. She's now based in France, where she ran twice this season. Her last start was in the Puy saint aloe at Longchamp, over a mile and a quarter, when she finished fifth of the eight runners behind Harbour. Well, Harbour went on to win the uh, equivalent of the English Oaks in France, and uh, England are still leading 1-0 their football match. Philip Paquet in the saddle. Philip, this will be his first ride in Europe this season because Philip is now based in Hong Kong. And I now hear that uh, it was Robson that scored the goal for England. That's good news for our football fans. But back to Philip Paquet. I think this filly is going to be much better suited by the mile today. Circus ring, 11 to 4, third favourite from 3 to 1. Number nine we haven't seen. This is uh, Kazakina. This filly has won two of her five starts in Ireland this year. A mile maiden at Nabin in March. And then a handicap at Leopardstown over a mile and a quarter. I don't think quite good enough. They're nearly all in. Let's join Peter. Yes. On the house, nine to one from eight to one. That's Greece nearest to us. And they're running. Greece on the inside. Chalon right up there in the early stages. In fact, uh, Leicester taking him along now. Circus Ring has gone up just in behind him on the house is prominent and so is Rose of Montreux and it's Lester Piggott on Chalon making it from Rose of Montreux just in behind them come Kazan Keener and Dancing Rocks Greece has now been dropped back to last they're passing the six furlong marker Chalon still in the lead from Rose of Montreux Circus Ring on the inside of Dancing Rocks then Kazan Keener then comes Woodstream and on the house in Greece and get racing towards the five pole and still Chalon in the lead from Rosa Montreux. Circus ring on the inside of Kazan Kino, then Dancing Rocks, and then Woodstream, and on the house, and finally Greece. Coming to the half-mile pole now in the Coronation Stakes, and still Chalon in the lead from Rosa Montreux. Circus ring on the inside of Kazan Kino. Behind them come Dancing Rocks, and on the house, and Woodstream, and then Greece. All going very well within themselves, these fillies at the moment, as they race towards the home turn. Chalon in the lead still from Rose of Montreux. Then comes Kazan Kino, Circus ring going well on the inside, then Dancing Rocks on the house, being pulled to a challenging position on the outside, and being chased by Woodstream. Coming to the two furlong pole, Chalon still. Lester Pickett in the lead from Rosa Montreux. Then comes Kazan Kina for Ireland. And then on the house, the 1,000 guineas winner putting in a run. But Chalon has them all held at the moment as they come down to the furlong pole. It's Chalon in the lead from Dancing Rocks on the house now, moving into second. Then Rosa Montreux over on the far side. But Chalon has this well sewn up as they race up towards the line. A great success for Chalon on the coronation stakes as they come to the line. And it's a photo for second between Greece and Dancing Rocks with Rosa Montreux next. And then on the house and behind them came Woodstream and Circus Ring and Catherine Keene are about over second but my goodness no doubt about the winner and how impressive she was the winner of the Coronation Stakes first number four Chalon owned by Mr. Michael Doyle Rowden and Miss Joan Schwartz and trained by Henry Cecil written by Lester Pickett with a photograph for second place a photo between Greece the finisher on the far side and Dancing Rocks the finisher on the near side but here, the first time that this filly has been pitched into the top class and